Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Tuffy. And as the name implies, it's a real Tuffy. Just for those of you who are wondering about videos for Black Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue and X Blaze, good lord, that's gonna be tough to say in a row. Not gonna be able to get to them for a while because as of this recording, I don't even have copies of them yet. So we're just gonna have to move on to this. Tuffy is made by the people who made 10x8, and this is on PlayStation Mobile. Weirdly long loading times here for a game that's actually really simple. I'm not sure what the deal is. Also, this music is really, really annoying and it's going to get on my nerves real fast. It'll probably get on your nerves real fast too, but who am I to say what gets on your nerves? So, this game is a platformer. A strangely gimped platformer in the sense that... Go away, Rua Riz. God damn it, I thought I turned those off. The idea is that you can only take one hit, as you can see here, and if you take one hit, you are immediately thrown back to the start. The idea is to get through this entire huge obstacle course and get as many of the 108 bones as possible. There are 108 birds, bones hidden around, birds, there are 108 bones hidden around this area. There are also like, there's like three different areas and they have a total of 108 bones in them. One of the things about this game is that Tuffy always moves forward. You cannot get him to stop unless you, like, tap the L button like a madman. The controls in this game are real simple. You've only got two buttons, turn and jump. You can tap the left side of the screen to make to Taffy turn, or you can tap the right side of the screen to make him jump, or you can use either buttons on any side. So the D-pad and the L button will make him turn, the face buttons and the R button will make him jump. Unfortunately, as you may be able to tell, this game is actually really annoying and hard because of these two mechanics. The fact that you only have a turn and a jump button, the fact that he always keeps moving forward. So, you often find yourself bumping up against really annoying jumps and having shit like that happen. And you eventually start getting really deep into the tower and you end up dying and you're like, God damn it, I can't really be bothered with this. And you end up throwing your Vita on the ground and breaking it and regretting spending the $6 that this game actually costs. God damn it! This game is so annoying. Also, I think it's got some sort of performance issues because the game doesn't seem to be holding a solid 60. I swear I'm seeing weird tearing and a weird little ghosting effect that seems to imply that the game is having trouble holding a solid 60. This might be just my imagination, but still, it seems to be a little bit off for some reason. I can't really tell if it's affecting the game or not, but to be fair, the game is so hard I probably wouldn't notice anyway. It's a very difficult game to gain any pleasure from, especially from my point of view. I'm a massive fan of games like Super Meat Boy, where you can go really, really quick in levels and you can be very precise about it, and it makes you feel really accomplished to pull it off. Taffy doesn't feel anything like that. It feels like a struggle against the controls more than anything else. You're just playing and you can barely control where you're going and it feels like it takes forever to turn around and jumps never, well, nearly never land you exactly where you want to be. It's so frustrating to play this game at times and I'm losing frames all of a sudden on my capture kit for no good reason, but... Still, it's just, it's just a pain to play, to tell you the truth. From the guys who made 10x8, I thought they would have known what a good platform makes. That's a weird sentence. But... This game doesn't really feel like a good platformer to me. It's just more frustrating than playable. And the fact that it costs $6 is just a kick in the teeth. I feel like it's a little bit of a rip-off, to tell you the truth. I mean, Jesus, look at these mechanics. It's just... It's so unbelievably annoying to do what you want to do in this game. It's amazing. Just, I don't feel accomplished playing this. I feel more like I'm just banging my head against a wall. Bollocks. You can turn the music and the sound effects off, but that just leaves the game feeling more dull than it's supposed to. And this music, it's not bad to begin with, but when you hear it again and again, because it starts again when you die. Oh, fucking capture kit. What's wrong with it dropping frames all the goddamn time? When you, yeah, as you can hear, when you have to start the game over again and the 
game just... When the game music just starts over again, it gets so annoying hearing the very first few things of that again. And having to make that jump is the hardest part of starting in a game, because I keep missing it half the time. It pisses me off so much. Can you tell I'm not a fan? <laughs> it looks okay, but it's just... It's very dull. It's... Uh, that's a little bit weird that... I wonder if it's got... Yeah, it's got something to do with this area that's making the capture kit drop frames. I don't know what's up with that. It works fine on the... Works fine on the Vita. It's just the capture kit doesn't like that scene for some reason. I've had that happen with a few games before. But... Yeah... If this was 99 cents or $1.99, I could recommend it under the premise that it's purely meant for masochists who want to just, you know, punish themselves. But six bucks, really? Like, look at, look at this. This is dumb. This is dumb that I have to wait for this. This might have actually been a good... That was supposed to actually kill him or kill me, but it didn't do either. That is just odd. Yeah, this game isn't very good, and it's very frustrating, and you bounce all over the place, and sometimes hitting a wall stops you, and for some reason there's a, there's this tiny pause whenever you hit a wall or something, and it just throws off my timing entirely. Like, I mean, like, I'm not, I know I'm not going to have any timing when I'm um, already bumping into a wall, but it's frustrating, to say the least, and... Uh, Figuring out where you're supposed to hit an enemy to... On what angles you can hit an enemy to kill them just gets more frustrating every time for some reason. Sometimes it feels like I'm right next to them and I still manage to kill them and then you've got crap like that. Oh, jeez. So that was a look at Tuffy. Or, as the full name of the game is, Tuffy, the Corgi, and the Tower of Bones. I would not recommend this game to anyone. Not at $5.99. I, what makes you think charging $5.99 is going to go over well with most critics? This is... Look, five, no, a, a dollar for this, two dollars for this, not too bad. Six bucks? No. No, that's just not right. That, that's just not right in any sense of the word. Unless they're trying to make all their money back within the, what, the first thousand copies? I don't really know how much this this would cost to make, actually, but still. If they're trying to make their money back, like, really quickly for some reason, I don't, I don't even know. Again, so that was a look at Tuffy. Not worth the effort. I'll see you all next time.